Hi everyone, it's Beth. So tonight I am needing to, I need some Ethereum. And earlier today I bought some Ethereum on Coinbase. And tonight I wanted to show you guys how to use Shapeshift. I don't know if you have heard of it before, but um, Shapeshift.io is the site that I'm using here. And if you don't feel like, you say you, you really want Ethereum, but you have Litecoin and you don't want to go to Bittrex and create an account and transfer in your, get your account approved and, and then transfer in your Litecoin and then go to the exchange and exchange the Litecoin for Ethereum and then transfer the Ethereum back off of the, the exchange and do with it whatever you wanted. Well, if you don't feel like doing all of that, you can just go to shapeshift.io and you can come over here. This is just when I log in, to, you know, when I just, you don't log in, when I click it and turn to shapeshift.io, right there, shapeshift.io, and it loads for the first time, that is exactly what it loads. So I, it says choose which assets to trade. So I'm going to click. I have like, and they have, look at all these coins. They have all sorts of coins. So you have basic attention token. You want to, you want to trade it for something else? Shapeshift can do it. Something else that's really cool about Shapeshift is Shapeshift allows companies to accept all sorts of, of different crypto coins. Uh, for instance, Oversock.com. Uh, they recently announced that they had expanded from just accepting Bitcoin to now they accept any token or coin that can be that can be exchanged using Shapeshift. So it's just a really, you know, it's a really user-friendly way to just shift from one type of cryptocurrency to another one. Okay, so I have Litecoin, so I'm going to be scrolling here until I find my L and there it is. And I want to be receiving Ethereum. So then you just click this one and it opens up the same window and you just scroll down until you find Ether. And that's what I'm looking for. So now I'm gonna choose quick, I guess. I wish they would tell you which one's cheaper. Because precise, I assume quick is more expensive than precise. But I guess I'll just go with quick. I'll see what precise is. So minor fee 001 E. Okay, so I'm going to deposit 16 Litecoin. And for that, I'm going to get 3.55 E. Okay, so my Ether address, which is going to be my missed wallet, so let me get that address. Okay, so I'm just going to paste my wallet address right there, where it says Ethereum address, and then I am going to uh, get my Litecoin address where this is coming from, and my Exodus wallet, and that will be a refund address, so that would be a receive address. In case you need a refund from Shapeshift if something happens and they can't complete the transaction. And by the way, I did have trouble with a um, with a transaction just kind of stalling, and so I contacted their customer service pre the uh, previous time that I've used this, and their customer service was super helpful. They pushed the transaction through, and it, it was really they were very attentive and very nice. It was a good experience. So. Good job on your customer service there, Shapeshift. Okay, so let's make sure that that's the right address for my Litecoin wallet. Yep, 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 yep. And I'll agree to the terms. And we'll start this transaction. I'm a little bit curious what the minor fee would have been if I had chosen for, uh, quick rather than precise. Okay, so now I have to send 16 Litecoin to 
this address. So I'll copy that and send my Litecoin there. So I need to close my receive address, open up the send function, paste that in there. I'm sending 16 Litecoin and LDX UUF. LDX UUF. Send. I did confirm that. That was successful. So, incidentally, and this is really easy to use, but uh, you can also use Shapeshift from directly within the Exodus wallet. If you are using Exodus wallet, you just come over here and you um, choose this exchange. So you have the portfolio, that's your overall portfolio. And then there's the wallet where you, choose, you get your send and receive functions, but there is an exchange function also, and it is Shapeshift within Exodus. And it just goes from your one Exodus you know, it, it stays within the Exodus wallet. So I would have, I could have just used this, but I was sending this to my Ethereum Mist wallet. Um, I'm using it to contribute to the Kin by Kick ICO, and you have to pre-register your um, Ethereum address to participate, and that's the one that's registered. So I need to send it there. So I thought since I was using the website version that I would, um, show it to you, but since I'm here interacting with the Exodus wallet, I'll show you that you can do it right here also, and you can shift anything you want. You can shift to whatever, in between whatever. It's really, really nice. I mean, it's not just like you have to choose the, you know, big player pairs. You can pair anything with anything they have with anything else that they have. So that's pretty cool. And let's see how it is going. So they're awaiting the exchange. It's they did receive it though because they are pending. There's pending confirmations. And um, if I do, and I'm going to leave this open. So because if you need to interact with and bookmark it even. So there we go. Bookmark. Litecoin is pretty speedy, so how about if we click back over to um, our Exodus wallet, look at the transaction happening here, click the transaction ID, and follow that through to the Litecoin block explorer. Okay, so we can see this is unconfirmed, and but it's a good idea whenever you're dealing with anything like this to open it up in a block explorer so that you can keep track of it. And you know when Shapeshift sees, well, gets that it has, in fact, come through the system. So, so here it is. It's done. And um, they said that my ether it was sent. So now I can see it on the blockchain. And we can see that it has two block confirmations already. So that's fantastic. And. It's super easy. Shapeshift is really, really nice. Again, that is shapeshift.io, and it is really user-friendly. It's really pretty fun to use, so I like it. If you found the video helpful at all, then please do hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more from me, then please subscribe. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments in the comments section. I really enjoy the community that we have going on here. I think it's very fun. And thank you to everybody who's participating. And I hope everyone has a great night. I'll see you next time.